guys, it's Jules with DIY with Jules, and I'm back with a video to revamp this clock that I found. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, all the mirrors are intact. It just looks really dirty. It looks like somebody tried to distress it, and or it came that way, and I don't like the way that looks. I like everything crisp and shiny. So I am going to... Um, revamp this clock it works it only cost me five dollars at the goodwill so let's get to it okay so what you're gonna need is some rust-oleum paint you're gonna need some scissors you're gonna need some painters tape to cover the glass and I am going to embellish it with this beautiful rhinestone ribbon that I just got it is absolutely gorgeous um, be very careful when you cut this because you have to of course cut it into smaller pieces um, I'm trying to kind of cover these I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet but I'm going to cover it and but I do know that I have to cover it this size and it's kind of hard to cut so be very careful when you cut it um, they sell this on Amazon but it's a little bit on the pricey side it's like $12.99 it could be up to $20 just for a yard. So you have to make use of what you have and um, be careful with the cutting so you don't waste it. There we go. And let's begin. Take your painter's tape and cover all the mirrors. And now that it's all dry, let's fling it out. Measure out the sizes that you need ahead of time uh, before you start your gluing process because it does take a long time to cut this wrap. It is a type of crushed glass on a rubber backing so please be careful. I'm cutting out bling wrap but I have not yet decided whether I'm going to use it or not. I have to see once it's on. All my pieces are cut, let's get to gluing. I used a combination of E6000 and glue, but after I put the, the bling wrap on, I didn't like the way it looked. So I removed the bling wrap and ended up damaging the paint underneath. So. I repainted that one section just by covering the sides. I only used the rhinestone bling wrap on it and it still needed more bling so I used the gemstones around the circle of the clock and ended up doing three rows of the gemstones. My rhinestones are all glued on. All we need to do is let it dry and hang it up. And there you have it. Thank you for stopping by to DIY with Jules. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video.